All right, I got the ignition module here, a new one. So you can read the way you're supposed to have it now on this one. <clears throat> it looks like your switches are all in the on position, so we're going to see what that means. So you pull out the instructions. Okay, important. Do not read instructions before installation. Did you get that? Only after you kick on it for an hour and it doesn't start. Okay. Switch one. Off is normal. On is retarded. Vos wire for re to retard timing or nitrous or turbo equipped bikes. See further instructions. Are you doing any of that? No. Oh, so you want off. No vos. Follow procedure curve shown sharp. Blah, blah, blah. Vire is not used. Low vacuum curve. Do not ground vire. That makes a high curve. Okay, so we're going to flip you from on to off. Okay, do you want to rev the piss out of it the whole ass or do you no. want to go slow turd? He had on on, which is curve four, slow turd. That's for a 120, 127 motor with high compression that detonates like crazy. It does have compression releases too. So there's curve four. I like curve one way up high up. Way up high. That's for going, getting up and going. It said he's curve two on a 100 107 motor. Curve one is for uh, 80 to 96 inch motors. Curve three is for high compression engines like a 113, 120, 127. So if your 120, 127 detonates, you use curve four. That's the one you're on right now. So are you detonating? and re You're retarded and detonating. Good combination. Okay, now he had you on on on. He put you at 7,000 RPM rev limiter though. That's good. And he's got you on single far. So you got that part right. So how many RPM you going to turn this thing? I'm thinking we turn you down to a lower RPM. I'm thinking 6,500. You rev the snot out of your bikes yet, or you still drive slow? Mm -hmm, I still drive slow. Okay. You want 6,000 RPM rev limiter or 6,500? 6. Six. Okay, so we got to change on off. So switch five, we got to turn off. Okay, so now I'm going to go down and figure out how to do all this. We're going to go down there, pretend like we can see what we're doing in that dark hole. Put a little light on it. I'm not rich. I can't afford to be blowing up my motor. So we have to go down there and figure out how we're going to do all this down there. All right. Where did my flashlight go? Did you steal that again? Oh, you put it way over there where I can't get to it. Mm. Uh, where's your oil tank? Your tank full of oil. Jeez. Slimy ass tank. Okay, we're going to put your curve one to off. single fire. He had you on dual fire. He probably never even changed the switches. Okay, so we're on off for normal switch. Switch two and three. Off, off is curve one. Most aggressive. We like that. Okay. You want a uh, 6,000 American rev limiter? So switch four is on. On. Okay, five is off, no, five is on, what did I just do, dumbass, you want six, right, on, 
Okay, you want on off. Okay, five is off. Is it off? I don't know, I can't tell. It's hard to do this. Yeah. Okay, definitely off now. And the last one is on. Which would be your, uh, your single fire. On a single fire. You got three wire coil over there? Yes. Okay. Okay, I moved them around a little bit for you. Okay, you got a uh, turning thing down there? Good. Okay. Get the spark plugs out yet? No. No spark plug. You have a spark plug? No. What kind of spark plugs you got in this motor? 14s or 12s? Never took a look. Big socket, like that? Yeah. About 14. Yeah, 14 on there. Okay. We're going to have to pull off the time little plug too. Put the plugs back in the plug wires and lay them up on the ground. On the bed or somewhere. So they wouldn't just run out. Time to plug the Allen or has it got some other thing over there? It's an Allen. Got the big one or the little small one? The 3 eighths. The small one? Yeah, that's small. Which one is it? Is this one or a different one? Let's get the big Harley one on it. It's a big one. The big one. The stock one, not the custom one. Bring the rest of it out here. Give it to the wrench. I'll give you the wrench. The wrench goes on a socket. Okay. Spark plugs. Champion spark Stupid plugs. Stupid ass champions. That's garbage. Give me some good spark plugs. RN12 YC. They're already black as hell. Oh, they got wet too because I did try. I, I push started it. You want some new ones in there? You want to just make it run with these for a while? Uh, I'm going to change them. I got good spark plugs. They'll work for a while, they're just dirty. As long as they fire, we'll, we'll find out the fire in a minute. We'll be testing it. <clears throat> they might not fire, they're all foul looking. <clears throat> you got them where you can see what they're going zap zap. Okay. We're going to have to turn this motor over. Jack the bike up and turn the rear wheel, or we can just roll the bike. Which one do you want to do? Jack it up. You want to do it the easy way? Jeez. Oh, That's no fun. That's just right there behind you, right here. <clears throat> the lift is behind your butt. Okay, slide the lift over here. Okay, slide up there as far as we go. Okay, slide the other on it. Okay, I've got your own. No, one more. One more. There you go. You're on now. There you go. So the extra low lift is not low enough. <laughs> You're good. Get, get a couple inches of air in there. I don't want my fingers getting bashed in. You put it in the high gear. Put your finger over the hole and steal for compression. Right 
Ready? Yeah. Up, down, or nothing? Nothing. You got no plug? There. there you go. I hear a little bit. What's the most hard to turn? You got the spark plug though? Yes, I do. Yet? No. It's a clicking noise. No, I'm just fucking with the right there. Yeah. Okay. There. Yeah. Okay. Uh, spark plugs out on the motor. We're gonna put them like right by the compression relief. Just put them on the ground. They just have to ground. I don't care if they're on the case. The motors. They just have to be able to ground. Preferably, if you can see them, it'd be nice. You can see if they're firing. These don't like this. Just whatever, it doesn't matter as long as you can see it. Okay, you got an ignition? Or your switch? It won't work without a battery. Yes, Maybe we should get a battery up. Yeah. Am I ahead of a, getting a little ahead of for myself? Is that the good battery or the bad battery? Okay, that's that's a good sign. Cut your jacket up, huh? <laughs> Piece of leather in there. Okay, where'd you, how'd you run this cable? Just straight up the side here? Is that how you did it before or at the back side? Yeah. Probably at the back. Yeah. Just straight in like that's probably best. Yeah. I'm getting a 10 millimeter uh, wrench. Good? Yeah. I don't like that. Give me a, give me away from here. I gotta get away from this area here. There we go. That's much better. Too close to the uh, frame bracket. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you got clearance now. Well, there should be a new bolt with the battery. Want a new bolt? With the box. Here. You want the old one? You want the old one? Here's the old one. Yeah, give me that one too. I lose these. This one has a star washer with this one. It has a star washer. This one more on the ground? Yeah. Yeah, just right there. Yeah, I figured we'd go the same way. That's what I like about the batteries. They got nice top and nice bottom locations. Heavy duty post. Nice, good, strong brass inserts. The guy at the show told me that the little stupid ass nuts they put in there are better than the brass casting inserts. I laughed. <laughs> yeah, sure they are. Oh, the, the brass, the. The stupid. But nuts that whatever, they put behind yeah, it? Yeah, whatever those pressed metal piece of crap nuts are. Yeah. yeah. Right. It says they're better than brass. Bullshit. 
cat's full of shit. Yeah, he didn't like when I told us what I thought about his batteries. <laughs> make fun of people's back. Well, I just told him the truth. It failed in about 10 miles. Well, you can't be Twice. Telling, you can't be telling people the truth now. They hurt their feelings. First one lasted about two weeks. Third one lasted about two minutes. <laughs> Fred said I was mean to him. I don't play friendly, he says. <laughs> Cable goes on top of it or behind no, it? No, just get it up. Well, that's a pause. You don't want to be having it anywhere near that anyway. They're stealing my stuff. Uh, there's somebody back there watching TV. Okay. Got oil in it yet? Yeah. Okay. I did. I did a job for Chip, and they gave me fluids, but they gave me synthetic primary fluid. I won't put synthetic oil in this. Yeah. He won't use my oil. I gave him something to use in his black and we never used it yet. No, it's not synthetic, it's synthetic black. <laughs> okay. Okay, where's your ignition? Put a key for over here or you got some toggle? Yeah. Bring key. Well, it's not like we need a key to start a bike around here. No. Figure that out pretty quickly. That ain't hard to work and do. You don't need a key to start a damn bike. Okay, lights are on. Did you let me come on on the ignition now? The dummy lights come on? There's a light up here on the one. The, the red? The oil? The oil, but not the Okay, we're not in neutral, that's why. Good. But we don't have no idea lights over here on the, on the ignition module, which should be coming on at some point. Okay, what do we got on the... We were building compression? Yes. Okay, I got to put the screwdriver in the hole so we can see where you're at. <clears throat> Yet? Okay, we got a red light finally came on. Are we near the top dude or not? We're, we're up. Look in your uh, lead light hole over there. Uh, nothing, nothing yet. Was the cigar still coming up? Yeah. Still coming up. Okay, I'm looking for the lead light over here. I'm waiting for the city light to go out over here. It's out. That should fire the plug if it doesn't do. Okay, the red light went out right there. So what do you got for a timing mark over there? Should be right dead center and all. It's it's a little bit to the uh, rear? Yeah. How far? Halfway? It's probably probably quarter inch to the center. To the center. So it's halfway over then? Yeah. So you're two degrees advanced. Uh, is it, uh, say TF on the line or is it just, what's it got on it? Should it be a T or now? A couple dots with a line of T, uh, T and F on both sides. T. Yeah, T and two dots. Right there. T and two dots behind it. Okay. I can't see it from here, but yeah, that's what it is. It heads in the way. There we go. Yeah. I see it better now. All right. Okay, so you got to get that in the center. Yeah, 
sure enough. We got to retime it. The ignition module didn't fire it, so it'll probably fire it the next time around, hopefully, but so we gotta look for the little module down there, trigger. Right yeah. down there. You gotta loosen that. Just put the move the wheel until the thing's dead center. You got a three ace over here. What screw you got in that damn thing? Take your own bolt? Nope. Never touched it. Thing's three ace. Well, Ken. Do we want the we want the double dots in the center, correct? The line should be straight in the center. The two lines. Should be a single line with a T and an F next to it. There's two dots in the middle of the line. Okay, do you want the two dots in the center or the or the line? The dots you're on top of the line. Let me look at it. I can't see what you're doing over here. There is no line, it's just a T and an F. Exactly. So, that's so the two dots need to go dead center. That's what I'm asking. So that's where we're at. We're good. And it's just a tick more forward, bit. but. Okay. Right there's. You go too far, you're on the money. Right there. Sorry. Did you go back and forth or? What the hell size wrench it goes on this stupid thing? I was, I was looking at that bolt and it looks like it's on half ass and probably There it is, a tight ass 3 A's. Was it 10 millimeter? I don't know, I did a tight 3 A's window. Okay. Which way does this thing go? <clears throat> Why is the spark plug not firing? There it goes. Are they both firing? Well, the front one should be firing, not the rear. The rear is firing. It's firing, I hear it, so it's firing. The rear is, the front ain't. Right in the front, not the rear. Oh, the rear is firing. Got to ask backwards. Should I get wired wrong? So the coil? Wire along the coil? Yep. I gotta switch the wire. I'm on the front, so. So I'll switch the, switch the, not the pod, not the center post, the two outer ones I gotta switch over. Yeah, they're color coded. Which one's which? Well, I put them back the same way, but everything, so everything wasn't the same way. His was a, this is a single fire, right? Yes. He probably had a dual fire or some shit. I don't know what the fuck. Well, no, it's three posts, so. though. Three posts, it's. It's a single post fire three. coil. Yep. Can you see the color of the wire on the post? Yeah, got the should be white in the middle. White, white in the middle, and the black, the power for the battery. The black is the ignition switch. Yeah. So you got pink is the back, and blue is the front. Uh, no, pink is front. I think no, first rear. Pink is rear, blue is front. That's what it is now. You got blue on the front? Yes. Why is it firing the plug wrong? Fuck I know. Blue is front cylinder. You got the plugs up there backwards or something? At the rear. I get the blue in the front. Looks correct. All right, let's go ahead and spin this thing around to where the rear one's coming up. Okay, put your finger. Let me only get pressure in the back hole. Don't put it tight. Right there. Yeah. Oh. Put the 
the screwdriver in there. Coming up. You want to get close. Okay, and look where my light is at. So when this light fires, it should fire the plug. How close are we to the top? Yep, oh, just went out. Now you got. Should be a line or something that's all yeah, on it. There's a line. In the center? Yes. It's, well, it's a little forward right now, it's just a hair forward. Yeah, I, I might have overshot it slightly too because I don't know where it was at. Yeah. Okay, so let's see if we can get the. Uh, I don't know which way to advance retard the stem distributor. Which plugs for him? Okay, we're gonna lock it down right there. Stupid wrench doesn't fit. Okay, spin it around to the up one. Shoot out there and see where we're at. How close are we? Lights on right here. Let me know if you see anything coming up. There, I see it now coming up. Let me know when it gets to center. Okay, I'm telling you, on two dots get to center. Still moving, isn't it? Just went out there. That's way. Right there. So the front and rear kind of mismatched a little bit. Okay, so I'm not sure. This is probably turning counterclockwise. So to retard it, I gotta move it this way. Let's turn the light back on. Okay, we come back on it again. Anywhere near? Yeah, hang on, hang on. Let me get in a fucking better spot here. There was a screwdriver. Let me have a screwdriver. I can tell what's going on with the screwdriver in the hole. There's a hole up somewhere in there. Alright, stop. You passed it. You just passed it. It's still coming up. Should be coming up on it now. Okay, 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 there you go. Am I in the, the, fuck was that? Am I in the center now? No, not yet. Keep going a little bit. Stop. Okay, I'm going to tell you when the two dots in the center of the... Okay, okay go. A little bit Just more? Just tap. 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 Right there. Just a hair more. Sorry, man. It's just a hair, butt hair more. One butt hair more. Did move? Butt hair more. Did right move? There. A little more, a little air more. One bump right there. Okay, now we turn this until it goes off. Right there. Should be about right in that area. Can we go all the way around? Watch your eyeballs. Bring up the front hole and it comes up.
Should be going out pretty soon. It's coming up, it's coming up right, right there. It just went out, right on the same spot. Okay, so the front cylinder is timed. Okay, I'm gonna lock down the, screw the rest away. Okay, we're tight. Should be tight. Yeah, it's not moving. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and check the rear. So let me put your finger on the back, won't do any depression. Phillips here. Same hole. Coming up now. Okay, let me know when there's a mark there. Hang on, hang on a second. Hang on before you do anything. Just bump it. We're, we're, losing, we're losing this thing. We're okay. Don't worry about it. Alright, coming up right there. Go a little out here more. Right there. Feels like a piston is going down to me. Okay, we're right on the mark though? Yeah. The line just went out. Okay, so we're in the right spot, but we're not getting the spark where I can tell, but it's got to be the right spot. Okay, so we got the timing figured out. Okay, uh, okay, what do you want me to pull back a little bit or what? Yeah, that's good. You're on. Okay, go ahead and put me in neutral, cover up everything over there, put the plugs back in the hole. I assume the rear plug might have fired at some point, hopefully. I'm going to go ahead and uh, tighten up the uh, screws over here while I still got access. Check my knee a little bit. Kind of tight under here. So I moved it just a tick, but there's uh, not that big of a difference, who knows. Yeah, put the spark plugs in. Yep. <coughs> Are they gapped about right they look like? Or? Uh, about 30-some thousand. Yeah, 35 is a good number to be at. Uh, this one looks way open. Oh, why is it just fucking... You got a gap checker? Top center drawer of my toolbox. <coughs> not this one, the one up front. Not in your, not in your, in your crappy toolbox back right there? No, I don't have any crappy. <laughs> Crappy checkers here. There might be a feeler gauge in there, I don't know. That's the customer box for customers to screw up. It says right out for home, home tool storage. Look at that. So we know that's quality when it says for home tool storage. Right there. So we only got the best quality crap in this box. So we want some crappy tools. There you go. Here's some crappy tools. So, that's, that's what we dig through for the customers to play with. We all get all the quality screwdrivers in there, sockets, top of the line stuff. Yeah, that's what we have around here. Only the best. Did you find it? So much gap do you have? Yeah, 40 is normal. I like 35. 38 to 42 is stock. Did you check them both? I put them both at 35. Perfect. Did you wipe off the oil and grease off from it, or? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> we don't want to make it too good, but you know. You know what's harder to make was those uh, heat shields. Don't make it <laughs> Yeah, I was looking at the welding you did over here on the doing it. You had to fly cut it. A lot of work making them damn things. It's harder to make that than to make the dog. That's because you have to actually duplicate something that's already there. Yeah, I know. You can't just wing it and go with it. You actually have to follow something else. I imagine a light over here would help a lot. But. There you go. Get that tight. Try and do a 
butthead Allen in the dark, and you don't have any room to work. Good combination. Got something tight. <coughs> okay, ignition is back together. If it doesn't fire right up, we'll pull the plugs out and spin the motor over. Oh, actually, you didn't have any oil pressure yet, did you? No, uh, I want you to make... Well, pull, the, pull the spark plugs back out, we'll spin it through. Put the plugs back up on the head. We'll check for spark while we do that. We'll spin the motor so we can find some, uh, get some oil pressure. Oh, you got some primary oil for it too. You didn't bring it out with you, did you? No, give me a bottle, I'll trade you a synthetic. He gave me some good oil. Okay, I don't want good oil, I want crappy oil. I like good crappy oil. Alright, we'll be back. <laughs> 